Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. And in this video, we're gonna discuss three quick, small, mini project of Python. So the very first one is play sound and then color to black and white, color images to black and white, and then pie chart representation for the data. It's it's a very small program and that's the reason I just combined these three programs into like in a one video. So there is no interlink between these programs. So it's just, I thought of doing these videos separately, but then like the code and the content is very minimum. And that's the reason I made it as a one single video. Okay, let's go to the very first project. So it's like I'm gonna uh, give an audio file as an input and then the sound, I means the audio will be get uh, played automatically uh, with this uh, play sound uh, API, the library. You can install it with pip install play sound and then file name. You can give your mp3 uh, file path and then you can invoke play sound dot play sound and then you can give file name as the input. So if you see here, I have my uh, audio here, AUTIX. So now I'm gonna uh, run this so if I run this so automatically the the audio will be get played and it will not open with any media player that got installed in your machine it just plays automatically so the use case I will tell you so what you can do with this you can build your own mp3 player uh, if you know tk inter library in python we have the tk inter which use by which we will develop web applications sorry uh, desktop applications and then we have one more library called flask which by using you can build web applications so you can add these three lines of code with tk inter or flask and you can build an application like mp3 player as i told you so this is the use case so let me run this so once i invoke this you can able to uh, hear the sound and only after you give exit the the audio will get stop and that's the reason like i didn't speak when i when i execute the command exit fine so this is the first program and then the second is like uh, pie chart so imagine like we need the data visualization right you have data and rows and columns and you want to give a representation in pie chart or bar chart or a graph chart and that is how the clients are willing to see your report so in that case you can build your own pie chart like this so here uh, you have to install matplotlib by using the pip install command and then I'm using numpy for array operations. So here numpy.array, I'm giving some values here, 35, 25, 20, and 10. Let me comment a few lines here. I will I will explain you what, what is this later. Okay, and then you have datas and you are giving some uh, list of values here. So imagine I have an e-commerce e site with these four products, mobile, TV, dress, and doll. So I have to build a pie chart for this. So now plot.py and these are all the arguments we pass to the spy method. So shadow true, like I need a shadow for my pie chart. That will be very good by seeing, by, while visualizing it, right? And label is a keyword to which I'm passing my list of datas and then y is your array. Okay, so here this 35, 25, 20 and 10, you can ask me what is this value? This value could be the amount of these uh, products which I mentioned in the list or you can consider this as a size or you can consider this as a number of uh, uh, visitors who visited the mobile phone is 35 or number of visitors who visited the TV product is 25. So this value is something like whatever you want, you can predict because this is not the exact uh, data set. Like it's all about an example. So this sometimes people used to ask me what is 35 20 20, uh, 25 20 and 10 it could be any value you can imagine as anything okay so now let me run this code so let me run this Okay, so here if you see we got the chart and mobile phone has like uh, the huge difference compared to uh, TV or dress or uh, doll. Uh, if you see like the first largest is mobile, second largest is TV, third largest is dress and fourth is doll. So because if you see 35 is the largest value and now I, I, you remember like I have commented this right, uh, explode, what is this explode? And uh, here explode is a keyword and I'm giving my list explode uh, variable name as m explode. I'm passing it there. If you see there is no gap between these colors right so i i just wanted to give some gap so that's the reason we are doing this it's it should be in float uh, like okay i'm giving like this or three okay so now i'll run this code let me run this code Okay, so if you see here, like the gap, the distance between each of these uh, values, data values, right? So for that reason only, we are going for explode. And if you see like red is like it's far away from the uh, group, right? The reason is it has the value 0 0.6. So you can give very nearer one uh, small value 
and uh, I can show you the difference between these two charts now after explode and before explode fine so this is done and uh, I also told you the use case and now next is I'm, I'm, I just want to convert my color image to black and white it's a very simple uh, two lines of code again and if you see here like I have the image uh, dot open function to open my image which is pick dot jfif you can see let me close this black and white image you can see this is the image the color image I just wanted to convert it to black and white so image dot convert L what is L luminance luminance means like L L is grayscale so before doing any image processing they will convert the image from color to grayscale so they can identify the objects clearly so here L means black and white and if you want to convert it to some other color then you have to use P here that means platicide so this is something they use this RGB combination red blue green combinations right so that is where <coughs> the P for but we use L because we need black and white so let me run this and then you can give BW dot show it will give you the image and I can show you the image the color image is here and there is only one image here okay let me run this okay so now you can see the black and white image and then it, ha it has been converted and if you want to save this image yes you can able to save there is dot save function you can invoke so this is the color one and this is the black and white and yeah so that's all uh, the video is completed so like thanks for watching data engineering if you really like this video please do subscribe channel and follow this to your friends and colleague and please do share my video in your linkedin profile and we have provided a lot of tech videos in two languages english and tamil we do have big data aws google cloud and python java scala just go to my uh, channel and have a look thanks for watching and thanks for your support